Hey guys, Ultraman52 here. I'm back in the old setup. Holy crap. <laughs> I know, right? Um, missed this setup, by the way. I feel like M-Room is cool, but this setup, I just love it. It's a very good backdrop. Um, but yeah, I was finally able to move a lot of my mom's stuff that was stored like right here. Uh, it's now over in the spare room, thankfully. So now it's more open in this area. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Um, but yeah, if you couldn't tell by the title of the video, I got a buttload of anime. Welcome back. So, um, first off, I want to say that I got all the stuff from a place called Sound Exchange. They're a really cool shop. They sell mostly CDs and they're very music based, but they do have a very large selection of DVDs, Blu rays, and also a very good section of anime. And it's usually all just, you know, DVDs and like obscure or sometimes really, you know, iconic animes like, you know, Yu Yu, Yu Hakusho and stuff like that. Um, that's also where I got the uh, Evangelion uh, Death and Rebirth set, which is right here. You can kind of see it right here, yeah. But like, that's where I got it from. Sorry, I just shaved my uh, my little and my uh, mustache over here is a little bit itchy, but uh, that's fine. But yeah, very cool store. Uh, definitely would highly recommend checking it out if you ever are in St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, also, they do t tend to sometimes to sell a lot of. Um, rare and out of print stuff but they don't know the prices on those so you can actually catch them slipping pretty easily just like an anime because <laughs> not only did I catch them slipping on the Digimon set and also the Evangelion set there caught them slipping on this um, oh and also they, they do sell uh, video games too um, but they know the prices for a lot of retro games so they're all at eBay price but they do sell stuff you know, like PS2, PS4, you know pretty much some, all, all the modern stuff but yeah but this thing that I bought first, bought it for $11.99, so 12 bucks. Picked up DVD 4 of Miami Guns. This is the fourth and final volume in the series. I do own the first three volumes up here that a viewer sent me in the mail. But yeah, with that lewd cover, picked that out. That looks like an alligator, I think, holding panties. But yeah, um, really, really cool to finally now own this set. Um, this was, I think, the most expensive one out of all the uh, stuff I bought, <laughs> which, by the way, was less than 50 bucks. No joke. Uh, that's with tax. Um, but yeah, this pretty much paid for the entire thing because this is out of print. And this used, I've looked on eBay, uh, there's a couple that have sold between for like 30 and $35. I think one sold for, I think, 25 at the very lowest. But still, really cool to have a out of print anime DVD that goes for about $38. The only problem about this case is that the case is damaged, so I'm gonna have to replace it, but that's not a problem at all. It's a very easy fix, but again, very, very cool. This is the final three episodes, so it only lasts for 13 episodes. And on the inside, you get all that, and you do get this nice little insert. In the front, same as the front cover. In the back, this is basically a credits list of like the staff and credits, original cast, English adaptation, English cast, and inside we have translation and culture notes. Pretty cool, right there. But again, very cool. Now I own the complete series of Miami Guns. Uh, so far, from what I've seen, there's no Blu-ray of that series at all ever out. So I don't think that we'll ever see the light of day for Blu-ray wise. But again, who knows? But continuing on. Now we have my second favorite DBZ movie. This is from the old the old Funimation line of DVDs. Uh, back when Dragon Ball Z was airing on Toonami and it had the uh, Funimation soundtrack where it had all that really kick-ass rock and synth music just for the English version. Um, now with the more recent Blu-rays, they've um, put back in the original Japanese score with you know the English dub. Me personally, um, only because of nostalgia-wise, um, I like the Funimation soundtrack with the rock and synth music. I have no problem listening to the original Japanese score. I just prefer, via nostalgia reasons, the Funimation uh, soundtrack. But, as I tell you, this is my second favorite Dragon Ball Z movie because it has my favorite Dragon Ball Z villain in it, and I think you all should know who it is. I played it, I played as him in a stream uh, for Dragon Ball Fighters recently. Uh, well, not recently, but a couple months ago. 
Um, same day my uncle died too, by the way. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> but my, um, yeah, it is Dragon Ball Z Cooler's Revenge. Yes. Um, again, this contains the Funimation soundtrack, again with the rock and synth music. But also, this uh, film, in fact, some DBZ films like Lord Slug and the Broly movie, I think like one other one too, I believe. I'm not, I forget which one. But this one also includes a lot of uh, songs from a lot of really big um, hard rock and heavy metal bands like Disturbed, Stained, um, Finger Eleven, Drowning Pool. So, yeah, and I know that uh, Reminded of You by Drowning Pool plays at the very beginning of this movie during the flashback with Frieza and Bardock. But again, very awesome. Got Cooler right there in its final form. Also, a Disturbed song plays. I forget which, which one it is. But it plays during uh, Cooler and Goku's fight. But yeah, very cool. This also does include the original. Um, I believe this does include the original Japanese score too. And also the original. Un well, yeah, this does contain the um, original Japanese version as well. So you do, so you can't, so you do have the option, excuse me, of listening to the original Japanese score with the Japanese dub, um, with English subtitles, obviously. But it, it wasn't until later, during you know the um, newer Dragon Ball Z DVD releases, where they would um, not include the Funimation soundtrack at all and just include the English dub with the uh, Japanese score, which is cool for you know for a lot of people. But me personally, for nostalgia reasons, I personally like the Funimation soundtrack, but that's just me. Now, next up here, uh, this I bought for, believe it or not, $2.99 for this giant-ass complete series set. Uh, it contains 26 episodes. Cage is in a little rough shape, but I cannot complain for, again, $2.99. And all the discs are mint, and they're in here. It's all complete. We have the complete, sorry, the perfect collection of Die Guard Terrestrial Corp. Uh, sorry, Terrestrial Defense Corp. Yes. Good old giant robot goodness. Uh, it says here that Die Guard was copyrighted 1999, but I believe this DVD didn't come out till 2004. But for the anime wise, this anime is now 20 years old. Yeah, this is an old anime, and look at the size of this freaking case. It's huge. It's six discs, by the way. But uh, yeah, again, all 26 episodes are in here. Um, also, also, this is from a uh, good old ADV Films. Yeah, I have not uh, seen that name in quite a while. Uh, a lot of you uh, don't know this, but uh, AD Films, they're no longer in business. They actually closed up shop a couple of years ago. I think um, early 2000s, they closed up shop, which is very unfortunate because they were actually a really huge um, um, company that released all the Heisei Gamera films. Uh, but again, you know, it's unfortunate, but hey, you know, what can you do? Okay, the front cover. This robot, Die Guard. He is actually in a lot of the Super Robot Tyson games, so I'm very f so I do know who this character is. I just not seen a series, but again, six discs and the inside we get this little insert. We have a this cool little uh, pro little mini mini poster for the logo, and also the episode list. So we have six discs in here. We have disc one, which is called Hostile Takeover, it contains the first five episodes. Disc two, to serve and defend, but not to spend. <coughs> Sorry, give me. Contains episodes 6 through 9. Disc 3 is Checks and Balances of Terror. Episodes 10 through 13 are on that disc. Disc 4 is Red Tape and Proud Hearts. It contains episodes 14 through 17. Disc 5 in the red contains episodes. And that, that my phone. Contains episodes 19 through 21. Phone again. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, I don't know if you, you can hear that too, by the way. And the final disc, disc six, the bottom line, contains episodes 22 through 26. So all the episodes are right there. Uh, the only thing I do not like about the discs is that they're not numbered. They just have the subtitles. So unless you have this set, you don't know which disc has what episodes on unless you have to, unless you buy it. So, but yeah, there's disc one right there. The case is a little hard to get rid of, and I'll show the little defect with the case in a minute. There's disc two and three. Again, in case it's a, little, it's a little pain in the butt to close, but then that's fine. Disc four and five. Four and five right there, in that order I, I pointed out. Sorry. And here we have disc six. Yeah. So like, again, the discs are not numbered, so again, you don't know which disc is, you know, what contains what episodes. But 
right there at the bottom shows that this is not a complete a mint set, but it's it's close enough. But yeah, that's the, that's the only that complaint is that little uh, creasing right there, the foil of the plastic. It's also a little bit up here too, but it, uh, other than that, it's fine. It's it's really good condition. All the discs are mint. In fact, I check all the discs for for these um, May I series, and they're all mint. They're all completely mint. Now the last three things I'm here going to show are all kind of kind of go go together. Because they're the complete series, because this is literally the complete series. I'm just missing the OVA movie collection, which kind of sucks because that collection is worth about a hundred bucks on eBay. I wish Sound Exchange had it, but oh well. But here we have the complete series of the Slayers. Yeah, sometimes also known as just Slayers, but we have, yeah, the complete first season of the Slayers. Very cool. Yep. <laughs> Uh, please note, back then, this is how you would get a complete series, in just, just like this. But here's the front, the side, and the back. You do get some features on here, which I will show right now, which I will say right now. So, features include disc A only, and please note, these discs are, are lettered. They're not numbered, they're lettered. But, disc A says here, meet, it has uh, Meet the Cast, Actors Bios, Graphic novel, sneak peeks, interactive menus, chapter stops, that's literally what it says, it, it says chapter stops, spoken languages, English and Japanese with English subtitles, and DVD-ROM features, uh, disc D only, please don't, yes, this shows how old this is, this is from fucking the DVD-ROM days, um, has art gallery, character gallery, cast, scripts, graphic novel pages, Character sketches, reviews, English voice actors, written interviews, and uh, yeah, it says here minimum system requirements for DVD ROM fe uh, feature access. Pre um, it says PC with <laughs> DVD ROM drive in Windows 95 or higher. I'm gonna have to get a. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, like Windows 90 and 95 is some is some high tech stuff, man. You know, I don't I don't think my laptop can run it. I, I, I don't think Windows 10 is good enough. <laughs> but here we, here we have, I'm going to quickly breeze through all these because they're just, you know. So here we have, so here is disc A. There you go. And this contains episodes 1 through 6. Some nice uh, interior art. There is some art actually behind the uh, disc, by the way. Which again, the disc is in mint condition. All the discs are, are mint shaped. I'll probably make like my little cuts here and there just so I can save some time on editing. Here is disc B. You can, see, you can you, don't you just love this these, this 1990s ass style of anime? It looks very 1990s. Which by the way, this was a uh, yeah, it says here original Japanese version, copyright 1995. This is a like a what, like a 24 yeah 24 year old series. Holy crap. Um, and from what I know, there is no Blu-ray. There is no Blu-ray of Slayers ever uh, been released, which uh, kind of sucks. Cause I feel that like Slayers really deserves deserves a comeback. It's a very underrated series, even though it lasted for, like I said, three seasons and also a movie. Um, I just kind of feel that you know it should well and, and well movie slash OVAs, but I kind of feel that they that they should have come back uh, for like like a newer series. I don't know, maybe who knows. But uh, here we have disc C. But disc C here, the front has this on the back. Yeah, uh, that's so annoying. I, I hate that. Uh, if anyone knows how to get rid of these, please let me know down in the comment section below. Here's disc C again. Sorry. There. Inside. Oh, um, I, I forgot to mention that disc. Oops, sorry. Disc B contains episodes seven through thirteen. And disc C contains episodes 14 through 20. Also, a little, little bit of a cracking here on the corner, but other than that's fine. And there's the interior art. And here finally is disc D, which is the phone. <laughs> which is the phone. Sorry. But yeah, that's the entire series right there. Phone, goddammit. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's audible. 
but yeah, and this contains episodes 21 through 26, so season one was only 26 episodes. Very good. I believe it also says here that the English version, let me take that back here, and it says, uh, yeah, English versions 1996 through 1998, so this was, uh, so the English version of the first season of Slayers was released between 1996 and 1998, so, yeah. But, yeah, pretty darn cool. This, by the way, I paid $8.99 for. Nine bucks for a, a complete series set. And, by the way, uh, the Slayer sets are not are not rare or anything like that. They're pretty cheap to get on eBay, even on Amazon, too. Um, I But, of course, like I said, the OVA movie collection, that is worth about a hundred bucks on eBay. So if you find it in really good shape, grab it because it's, like I said, it's, it's out of stock. Well, it's out of stock. It's out of print, excuse me, out of print and very rare. And they've never released anything that's Slayers related. As far as I know, I could be wrong, on Blu-ray here in the States. They might have done in Japan, but even then I haven't heard anything. But yeah. And next we have here, next box that we have here, what we bought, well, I got my hands on The Slayer Season 1, so here is The Slayers Next. This is the second season of Slayers, but yeah, very cool. I feel like the spine should have made a, a picture, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's just me. So here we go, there's Slayer, this contains episodes 27 through 52, yeah. I believe this was another 26 episodes, like, yeah, another 26 episodes, yeah. So, I'm just going to pop this open. Also, the uh, inside right there, you can kind of see it right down the corner. It's a little bit damaged, but other than that, it's, it's fine. No complaints, really. All right, so here is, oops, no. here is disc A. Same thing as always, they're all lettered, not numbered. So here's disc A. Uh, oh, and also, uh, I forgot about the features. Okay, so, DVD features include... Interview with some of the English-speaking cast, uh, character sketches, meet the characters, comics, meet the actors, sneak peeks, interactive menus, character stops, and spoken languages and all that stuff, that type of stuff, and DVD ROM features available on disc D only, art gallery include, includes Japanese packaging, I don't, don't know what that means, cast, scripts, graphic novel pages, character sketches, and reviews. Again, you're going to need a, a, a PC with a DVD drive of Windows 9, 95 or higher. There you go. But again, here is disc A. Very nice. Um, again, I really like this art style. I don't know why, like, 1990s art style anime looks really good to me. Kind of wish it was more uh, hand-drawn. But unfortunately, I don't think it's ever going to be hand oh, so, I'm sorry, I, I actually noticed uh, no interior uh, disc art. They, they just chose with, with just standard black um, cases. Which is kind of surprising. But oh, here's the back. I'm gonna show the back. But yeah, there's the back. But uh, yeah, a little bit disappointed that, that, you, that you don't get interior art. But other than that, it's pretty cool. Actually, let me just double check to make sure there's anything interior art. Oh my God, there there actually is. There actually is interior disc art. There actually is in interior art. I guess these must be like new covers. <laughs> yeah. See. <laughs> This is disc A, so I'm gonna have to find some transparent um, DVD cases so I, so I can put these in there. So this contains uh, episodes 27 through 32 for disc A. Wow, I had no idea on that. I had a feeling, but yeah, that's, that's, that's just weird. I don't know why like someone replaced the cases. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Here is disc B. Sorry if this video is long, I, I apologize guys. And let's take like, the, in, the interior back cover, or art or whatever. This one contains episodes 33 through 39. There we go. You can get a little list of the English voice cast too on there too, like who plays who. Uh, actually, no one I notice, which is surprising. I kind of figured maybe like Scott McNeil would play the character in the series. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> And I know for a damn fact, like, Slayers, like, did not air in the U.S. Like, I didn't know any channel that played it, so, yeah. Here is, uh, Disc C of, of Season 2 of Slayers. Or Slayers Next, excuse me. Can't see it, sorry for that. There we go. There's a disc art. And the interior 
is this. Let's get into episodes 40 through 46. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Again, I just love 1990s style of uh, anime art, of art style. It, it, it's unfortunately a uh, not many animes. In fact, I feel like no anime like nowadays is like hand drawn. Uh, this was, of course, a series that was hand drawn from the ground up, which is you know really cool. And, and unfortunately, there is no hand drawn anime now. It's all just like on the on the computer and, and digital. And unfortunately, they're starting to move slowly into the whole CG anime which I'm not a fan of. I wasn't a fan of the Godzilla anime series. I feel if it was 2D and episodic, not in like movies, but episodic, I think it would have been like much better. And here finally is Disc D. The final, the final uh, DVD in the second season of Slayers. Slayer. Like in Halo. <laughs> and this contains episodes 47 through 32. And also, by the way, for those of uh, for, for you asking, like, um, how, what is the age range for this? The back of the DVD box set, oh, no, sorry, yeah, the back of the, yeah, the back of the, well, no, sorry, the underbelly, yeah, the underside of the DVD box set, um, says age is three and up, so you can be three years or older than watch theirs, because this is actually a fantasy adventure comedy series. Um, no, like, nudity, cussing, anything like that, it's very, you know, light, it's a light hard series. With some very cool action scenes too. So yeah, he yeah, see right there. Says three and up. And same thing, let me just double check for season one of Slayers. But yeah, 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 also has three and up right there. And last DVD here for this big ass anime update, guys. We have, well, why not guys end it off with the final season? The Slayers Try. Yeah, the final season of Slayers. Yeah, by the way, uh, also Slayers Next, $8.99. Slayers Try, $8.99. All this stuff for less than 50 bucks with tax. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, like I said, the final season of Slayers. I just need to get back my hands on the OVA slash movie collection, and now have the entire thing of Slayers. Awesome, so... Again, hopefully they do release a complete series, or a um, new Blu-ray set of Slayers, hopefully, maybe sometime soon. Here's Disc A. By, by, by the way, they keep using this picture of, um, this tool, yeah, this picture right here of, uh, I think her name is Lena. Yeah, of Lena for every single uh, back of the disc, by the way. And also, I forgot the figures again, sorry. <laughs> Let me just actually open this up. For some reason, why the uh, episode guide is not well, the episode list is not here. They decided to put it like in, like right here in like the corner behind the disc. But this contains episodes um, 53 through 58. Okay, and the back of the box set says for features wise, we have behind the scenes video, the making of the English dub, interviews with U.S. voice actors and director, character sketches, bonus footage, meet the characters, comics, sneak peeks. Inter interactive menus, chapter stops, and the standard stuff of language crap and stuff like that. And of course, gotta love that DVD-ROM features available on disc D only. Art gallery includes Japanese packaging, cast, scripts, graphic novel pages, character sketches, re and reviews. I don't know what, what reviews are. But, uh, yeah. And here we have disc B of Slayer's Try, or the Slayer's Try. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna say Slayer's Try. There is the back. Again, same picture of Lena. Again, that's her name from what the um, uh, description here says. But just always three different bubbles. And also, look, a furry. Furries. <laughs> Furries are in everything nowadays. They're in cartoons, they're in anime. They're, they're even in 1990s anime. And there we go. And this contains episodes 59 through 65. Here we have disc C. Again, I really like the disc art too. Well, the um, cover art, by the way, of some of these is actually really cool. Again, just same thing here. 
Just put it in bubbles. And for some reason why, no idea, now the episode guide is on, is here instead of behind the disc. I don't know why they did that. It's the only um, case that has that. I, yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, this can end episodes 66 through 72. And the final DVD, Disc D, right here. Disc D. These nuts, no. Right there, the back. And of course, Disc D just puts it back to uh, having the episode look be right here. That's a weird ass face too. A weird face. <laughs> yeah, this contains episodes, th sorry, 73 through 78. This is, uh, 78 is called Try Again. I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, as far as I know, I should have actually said that like, I believe this is the complete franchise of Slayers. I don't know if there actually is a fourth season. I don't think there is. But yeah, all this anime goodness, like I said, for less than 50 bucks with tax. Amazing, right? <laughs> Amazing what, what you can find at a UCD shop. So that is it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, this video will probably be up on Tuesday, maybe Wednesday at, at, the, at the very latest, depending on how much energy I have from work. Probably none, but whatever. Um, but yeah, also I'm probably going to delete that um, Gundam video I, I just uploaded, and I'm probably going to show off a newer one, because I got like the head done and already painted and all that crap, so I'm probably going to show that off. Probably, probably on Friday I'll, I'll upload that. But uh, yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. Comment down below, what did you guys get? Did you guys uh, get anything cool? Like any, any new games, movies, anything like that? Maybe like a bag of chips? Who knows? Maybe? Who knows? Um, but yeah, hope you guys, you guys all enjoyed it again. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And please, if you're a new subscriber or a returning subscriber, hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload a video. So yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. And sayonara.